Third test of the Air Force's hypersonic weapon has failed. The U.S. Air Force has failed for a third time to conduct a successful test of the rocket booster on a prototype AGM-183A air-launched rapid response weapon hypersonic missile, or ARRW. This can only add to the palatable frustration within the service, as well as elsewhere in the U.S. military and in Congress, about the progress, or lack thereof, in the testing of various new hypersonic weapons. The Air Force Life Cycle Management Command's Armament Directorate confirmed to the war zone today that another attempted ARRW flight test had failed on December 15, 2021. The Air Force says that it has not yet determined the cause of the issue that led to the test being aborted. The prototype missile never left the wing of the B-52H bomber carrying it. On December 15, 2021, the Department of the Air Force attempted a booster test flight of the AGM-183A air-launched rapid response weapon, ARRW, from AB-52 Stratofortress, Air Force Brig General Heath Collins, the service's program executive officer for weapons, told the war zone in a statement. The launch sequence was aborted before release with an unknown issue. The missile will return to the factory and analysis of the telemetry and onboard data will begin immediately. The program will seek to resume flight test as quickly as possible. This comes some five months after the second attempt to conduct this flight test of the ARRW's rocket booster. The Air Force deemed the test in July to have been a partial success, even though the rocket did not ignite as intended, because the prototype weapon separated safely from the B-52H bomber that it had been loaded onto and provided an opportunity to evaluate other aspects of the launch procedure.